Tally ho there champs and welcome to the show. So you've got your shiny new XPS 15. So what do you do next? This is what I do. And I'm just going to show you some steps on what I do. Some checks I do even before I boot up the PC. And the way I set it up to what I think are the optimal settings. So first of all, obviously unbox it, unwrap it and then give it a once over. Have a look on the exterior for scratches and so on and anything unusual. Then you probably want to open it up. Don't power it on yet. Just sit it on a flat surface, a surface you know is flat and just check if it's got any wobble in it. And if it does, sort of just gently work it a little bit with a little bit of force and push it into the solid surface. And if the rubber feet are out a little bit, it should push those in because if it is wobbly, it is the rubber feet. So it's nothing to panic about. Then I'll just check for sticky key board just anything unusual any keys sticking out whatever and then i'll check to see that the trackpad has a nice click to it and it sits nicely in the chassis it's not bulging at all nicely seated then i'll have a quick check look around the bezels see if there's anything going on there with the screen and that's it that's your exterior check done so next before i even boot up the pc we do some diagnostic tests so this will test out the screen and it will test out the system because if it fails these tests then you can ring up dell and say there's something wrong with it and you don't have to spend hours setting up your pc doing all the updates to find that there's something wrong this will find out if there's something wrong pretty much before you even set it up. So first things first, you wanna hold down the D key and then press the power button. And when you press the power button, keep the D key held down, then you should go into a screen test. Now with this screen test here, you should be able to see any dead pixels, any blotchiness or blight bleed and so on. It'll just shut down after it's finished. Now we're just gonna do a system diagnostics to see if there's any errors with the system here. Go through all these checks. And what you do here is you just press the power button on and then keep on hitting the F12 key. So keep pressing that F12 keys until you get a menu. And once you get that menu there, you want to use the arrow keys and go down to diagnostics. Then just run through the diagnostics. Make sure it's plugged in when you're doing this because I have it here. I haven't plugged it in because I've already done it before, but make sure it's plugged in when you do this. And if it goes through all those tests with no problems, well, it's time to power it on. And if it fails, it's time to call Dell. So once you've gone through all those checks, power it on and also when it powers on and the Dell logo comes up to the time you can check for light bleed here too but don't worry if there is a little bit of light bleed what you want to do is actually test the machine watch some movies with dark scenes and just play some games and whatever and just test out if you see it in the real world don't see it in the real world when you're using it don't worry about any light bleed so basically I got just go through the express settings you can set up how you want and set, select your language whatever express settings definitely fine and if you want to go through those privacy settings and set it to your own liking you can do that that's fine so then basically when you've gone through the initial setup it'll give you a dell registration page if not just type in dell help and support or dell registration and it'll come up and then just register the product that's what i do first thing is register the product so you know you're registered and once i'm registered i wipe it seriously i don't even do anything else i just wipe it and put a fresh copy of Windows on. I just made a video on how to make your PC a signature version PC. You might want to check that out. It's so easy. Check that video out if you want to wipe it and go that way. But if you don't want to wipe it, I'll just show you some of the things I do to little tiny tweaks here. There's really not that much to do. Basically, I'll do all the updates. I'll do all the Dell updates, which they should automatically come through after you restart and do all the Windows updates. That's the first thing you do. Those things will happen automatically and you might have to restart once or twice and pretty much Windows and all the Dell apps will pretty much be up to date at that time. Then I'll just go through and uninstall any unwanted apps like for me if I was going to leave, if I wasn't going to format it and start with a fresh copy of Windows, I would uninstall McAfee, I'd uninstall Dropbox, I'd uninstall the Office Trial, uninstall Candy Crush, just whatever. Just whatever you don't need, just uninstall it. If you're happy how it is, just leave it. Pretty much the only other tweaks I do, so I actually press Control alt delete then I go to Startup and pretty much disable most of the apps that want to start up. I might leave the NVIDIA and the sound one and that's about it. I also go to NVIDIA.com and I download the latest graphics driver for the GTX 1050. I always do that. 
And other than that, that's pretty much all I do if I'm not gonna do a fresh install. I will be doing an advanced video on where I actually do a complete fresh install. I actually boot from the Windows USB and I wipe all the recovery partitions and I also go into BIOS and change some settings in the BIOS. That's for the more advanced user. That video will be coming soon, but basically other than that, the only other thing I do is I go into the display settings and on the 4K screen, I change it to 200% scaling. At 200%, Windows looks at its sharpest on this screen, other than obviously being 100%. And on the full HD, I set that to 100% in the display settings. And other than that, that's pretty much everything I do. Oh, and one other thing, I just go in to the power settings and I set that when it's on battery, the screen dims after one. One minute so having it set to one minute should give you a little bit more battery savings than the default five minutes i think it is then i just install all the apps i want and you're good to go so definitely stay tuned for my more advanced tutorial on where i pretty much wipe the recovery petitions install a fresh copy of windows get that 11 gig back from your recovery petitions and i go into the bios and i tweak a few things in there but anyway if this video has been helpful give me a thumbs up there if you're new around here why not subscribe got lots more tech content coming soon i'd like to really thank you guys for watching and until next time guys tally ho